Bowing our heads, let us pray. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. And sometimes it causes me to tremble. Amen. Please be seated. One Sunday afternoon, about this time last year, I left our church in Richmond, Virginia, and was on my way to meet my husband for lunch when a sign on the road caught my eye. Driving along one of the city's busiest streets, I noticed this giant billboard, not for its alluring photo or catchy jingle or pithy advertisement for an injury law firm or a car dealership. In fact, no company at all was mentioned on the sign. There was no name and there was no photo. The sign simply had a quote with a statement underneath the quote on a very simple blue background. It said, once you've heard their story, there isn't anyone you couldn't love. Ask someone their story today. I thought, wow, I love that. I wonder who put that sign up. Once you've heard their story, there isn't anyone you couldn't love. Ask someone their story today. All through the lunch and the following days, I was still thinking about the billboard. I shared what I'd seen with a few friends, and one friend even went back and took a photograph of it and sent it to me. I thought, I bet Methodist Family Services put this sign up. It makes perfect sense. Their campus is a stone's throw from the sign. And then my curiosity got the best of me. I knew that Lamar Corporation, headquartered in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where I grew up, was responsible for putting the sign up. I have a friend whose son works for Lamar Corporation, so I asked her if he might help me find out who was responsible, and he did. It turns out it wasn't put up by a company or an institution. An individual paid to have that billboard put up. And for me, that made it even more powerful. To think that someone would use his or her own money to remind you and me about what is most important. Every human being does have a story to tell, a story that's full of blessings as well as hurts, for every life has joys and every life has great sorrows. The human experience is one of Good Fridays and Easter's, deaths and resurrections. What makes the human journey powerful, though, is when we share our stories, our lives. In doing so, we help one another carry the heavy burdens that sometimes seem to overwhelm us. Once you've heard their story, there isn't anyone you couldn't love. Ask someone their story today. You know, it, it's just so easy to judge, to shun, to malign, to wound, to never really hear someone, to make a quick judgment, file that assessment away, it's a far harder job to seek to understand, to embrace, to forgive. That takes time and effort. It takes listening and not speaking. 
But when we do it, and we do it well, we learn that we really aren't that different. The barriers that we think divide us actually don't. The lines we've drawn so carefully, our gender, our age, our race, our economic background, our politics, all that can fall down if we open ourselves up to the opportunity and break down the walls. Someone we thought we didn't like, someone that we'd cast out as totally different from us, suddenly we begin to embrace. And we begin to understand, ah, oh, that's why he gets angry sometimes. Or I didn't know it was that hard to be in recovery. That's where her insecurity comes from. That's why he's so quiet. That's why she fears failure so much. That's why school has always been so difficult for her. Our stories set us free and allow us to be loved and understood. They generate empathy and compassion, and they let us know that we don't walk alone. Good Friday is similar to the billboard because it is God saying in a loud voice, I already know all of your stories, and I still love you. I know all of your ugly parts, the parts that make you feel ashamed, the parts that make you cringe with embarrassment. I know about the adultery. I know about the lie you told. I know your bad temper. I know your ego. I know the jealousy that consumes you. I know every single part of you and I still love you. In fact, I love you enough to send my son to the cross. And that knowledge, the knowledge that there is nothing in our stories, in our narratives that can ever separate us from his love, should make us tremble. That's why today is Good Friday. I did a little research on the author of the quote. It is attributed to a Benedictine nun named Mary Lou Kaunaki. She serves in the inner city of Erie, Pennsylvania, and her work consists predominantly of activism and peace and works of mercy in places like soup kitchens and homeless shelters. She's authored numerous books and is hailed as a prophet along the lines of a Dorothy Day or a Cesar Chavez. With that one sentence, she points to the one who came to teach us all, Christ. Christ who dined with tax collectors and had a prostitute in his inner circle. Christ knew their stories and loved them still. Christ who knew no boundaries and healed everyone in his path from the blind to the lepers to the woman at the well. He knew their stories too. Christ who knew Martha's story so well that he boldly went into her home and told her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled by many things. And then he called her to follow her sister Mary's example. Sit, be present, and listen. Christ knew that is where the best part lay, in being present and listening and hearing the story. Christ, who knew his beloved disciple, would deny knowing him three times, loved him still. And Christ, who even as he hung on the cross, asked in one passion narrative, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Christ knew their stories too. Christ, whose life and death became 
the greatest story ever told, modeled for each of us how to live. Who couldn't you love if you knew their story? Amen.